Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. Gyeonggi Province recently announced three different application methods for the second disaster basic income payment which the province intends to make available before the Lunar New Year holiday. Residents are advised to choose the method that best suits them. Online applications can be made from February 1st to March 14th. As in the first round of payments, one can also apply in person with appropriate identification at local administration and welfare centers for on-site payment in the form of Kyunggi local currency cards. On-site applications, which begin on March 1st, will be received in accordance with designated weekdays for individuals based on their birth years so as to minimize COVID-19 infection risks and resident inconvenience. For those with limited mobility, applications can also be made via home visits. In addition, foreign residents of Kyunggi can make either online or on-site applications during the month of April. Kyunggi Province recently set up a COVID-19 screening station at the Provincial Government Complex for the testing of all personnel with the aim of identifying asymptomatic carriers and preventing the spread of infections. During the one-week screening period, two individuals were identified as carriers of the infection. Preemptive screening has been undertaken throughout the province. One such screening of bus and taxi drivers uncovered a total of 16 carriers. Kyunggi Province will continue preemptive screenings on a regular basis, targeting those at high-risk facilities. Following successful trial operations of Kyunggi's Delivery Express app, the areas covered by this public delivery app will be expanded swiftly. 25 local governments in the province have applied to join the app service system. Of these, Pochon City will launch app services in February, while the cities of Suwon, Gimpo, and Ichan, as well as the counties of Yangpyeong and Yuncheon, will launch app services in March. Although the Korea Kyunggi-do company, the operator of the app, originally planned to expand app services throughout the province by the end of the year, expansion is being accelerated for realization within the first half of the year. On January 26th, a two-day Kyunggi Provincial Assembly extraordinary session ended after passage of this year's first revised supplementary budget that includes second round disaster basic income payments of 100,000 Korean won for all Kyunggi residents. The period for payments, which will be made in local currency, will be determined based on pandemic circumstances. The partial amendment of the Kyunggi Province Disaster Basic Income Payment Ordinance for the expansion of recipient parameters was also passed during the session. Unlike the first payment round, Disaster Basic Income is now payable to all marriage-based residents, permanent residents, and other foreign nationals with registered addresses in the province. From February to December last year, the Kyunggi Mental Health Hotline received a total of 593 requests for counseling on COVID-19-related mental health issues. Of these cases, anxiety was the most common issue, accounting for 35%, followed by depression at 30%. Severe cases in which sufferers experienced suicidal thoughts accounted for 3.5% of the total. Severe cases are referred to local mental health and welfare centers and monitored through regular text message communication. Any Kyunggi resident who is suffering from mental issues due to COVID-19 can receive counseling by calling 1577-0199. On January 25th, the 349th Kyunggi Provincial Assembly Extraordinary Session opened with its first plenary session. This session saw the review of a revised supplementary budget of 1.36 trillion Korean won, which includes disaster basic income funding of 1.35 trillion Korean won, as well as incidental expenditures of 12.1 billion Korean won. Earlier, on January 11th, 
the Kyungi Provincial Assembly formally proposed the payment of a second round of disaster basic income. Nine days later, Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung confirmed plans to make this payment to all residents in the form of local currency. While explaining budgetary planning during a plenary session of the Provincial Assembly, Governor Lee also emphasized the importance of making the disaster basic income payment universally to all Kyungi residents. Kyungi Province recently announced its policy to promote advanced technologies through diverse initiatives. One such initiative is the improvement of childcare safety through the utilization of IT technologies. The province also plans to launch Kyungi Alim Talk services that will provide users with customized policy information based on individual data. During the second half of the year, the province will host Future Show 2021, which will feature futuristic technologies as applied in daily lives. The province is preparing this event to include various future technologies such as artificial intelligence, robotics, big data, virtual and augmented reality, and blockchain. Moving forward, Kyungi will also provide research support directly to individual researchers instead of to related universities and institutes. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.